Greetings and salutations everyone, it's Hayden here. Welcome to a new video. How's everyone doing today? I hope you guys are all doing fantastic. I'm sitting here sweating in the car. It is so stinking hot. Oh my gosh. I'm like, <laughs> I, I'm so dehydrated already. Uh, I spent the morning watering the plants um, because last night I didn't water them. I usually water them um, in the evening, but came home yesterday, had to film a haul, live sale, ran a little late. Afterwards, I had to get stuff ready to be uh, dropped off today, which I have in the back. I have two large boxes of stuff that are gonna go out this week from this week's live sale. So thank you so much for everyone that bought anything and that joined during the sales. The sales are every Thursday at 7 p.m. and Friday and Saturday at 10 p.m. Pacific time. And I'm trying to work in Tuesdays at 11 a.m. so I can have a daytime one, but I don't know. I think I'm gonna revamp the schedule and I think I might consolidate some days. I'm thinking maybe like Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday uh, might be good but we will see. I'll let you guys know for sure. I'm trying to figure everything out. Right now, I'm just focused on, well, today I'm focused on thrifting. So we're gonna go thrifting today. But this week, I really just wanna get the garage cleaned out. I just need to get that done. So that way I don't have to worry about it anymore. And then I can focus on everything else. That garage is taking over my life. Just moving out of that storage unit was so much work. I don't know if that video has gone up by the time you see this, but I will um, post that or link it if it has. Anyway, today is a beautiful, sunshiny day. It's still only 85 degrees, which is nice. It's supposed to be in the high 90s today, so I'm kind of enjoying the cooler heat, even though it's still pretty warm. Uh, but I will see you guys over at the store. All right, friends, we are at the Goodwill in Anaheim, off of State College and Lincoln. Let's go and check it out. Right off the bat, they have some cool stuff. They have these Smith and Hawken from Target uh, Fountain and Fireplaces. Pretty cool. The fountain's kind of cute. I've never seen that one before. And we have some cool outdoor furniture, some faux trees. What do we have over here? Some more furniture. What's inside of here? Anything exciting? A little pineapple hat from Six Flags. Sisley crossbody bag. Oh, uh, there's Bakke. I think this is one of those ones that came in like something. Like, I don't think it was a regular bag, was it, that they sold? I'm not sure, but like one of those like FabFitFun boxes or something like that. What is this guy? His little cell phone holder too. It's so funny, you guys. I found this anti-social social club T-shirt right here. Unfortunately, it's like not authentic. I have uh, the sweatshirt like this that I thrifted from a Goodwill like a few years ago. That one was authentic, but this one just has like a regular tag thing. It's two ninety nine. So back to the bags. Um, unfortunately, I don't think I see anything too exciting. But let's check out the rest of the store. Donna Buckman wallet. Nah. Okay. We are now in the pouch like little section. There's so many to look at. There's so many like little pouches and stuff in here. It's crazy. Like all this stuff is just inside this little bin down here. Um, oh, a headband? Is this leather? This is a leather headband. This would be pretty nice. I don't know if it is though. It might be pleather, but it's still pretty cool, right? Um, this would be cool if it was Brahmin, but I don't think it is. Oh yeah, it's like, it has that little thing. Like Brahmin doesn't come with that little thing on the side. Um, this is a Daniel Hugo, genuine leather. It is leather. Madden girl. This quilted pouch is a pretty color. I like that green. I've been very into green recently. This is a little belt bag. Nothing 
so go. Okay. I'm just gonna look through here. If I find anything, I'll let you guys know. Otherwise, we'll move on to another section. Okay, so I always like to look through the hats, the belts, and the scarves. Because you never know if we're gonna find like some sort of cool hat or something. I found some pretty cool hats in the past. Um, this is a little lemon hat. See, I told you. Look at that. Lululemon. How much is this guy anyway? No price. Um, how much are the hats normally? $3.99? Cool. Yeah, okay. That's so awesome. I'm excited. Told you guys. Always look at the hats. I think this just needs like a wash and then like that creasing will probably come out. Because I know you can wash these. This probably just had a little something. But I mean, you can still use it. good gardening hat you know well, maybe not a good gardening hat probably need a bigger one for the garden any scarves well, I found that Celine scarf not too long ago here that was like an amazing find I'm like one step away from an Hermes scarf, you guys. One of these days we're gonna find one and I'm probably gonna cry. <laughs> but comment down below if you guys have ever found like an Hermes scarf because I know a lot of you guys have. I've heard a lot of stories and I'm jelly. One of these days I'm gonna find one. Oh, I like that this is a little kiss lock bag, but it's Jessica Simpson. This one's pleather. This is a sheriff bag. It's kind of cute, but I think it's like all pleather. But the flowers are fun. I had to make a little beeline towards these smiley face slip ones. I think these are from Target, but they're really cute. They come in a, an assortment of colors. They have the yellow ones, these white ones, and the ones with the blue smiley faces as well. This is a, a giant roller skate. <laughs> I know they have like a giant monstera leaf. Uh, one of those things and I really really want one so I'm like waiting for them to pop up at the Goodwill I'm hoping they come up soon so we can still use it for the summer oh they still have the carpet that I like 60 bucks I'm strongly considering getting this guy there is a little stain but it's not the worst I do need I want to switch out the carpet right now that we have outside um, the one outside is a little like it's getting a little threadbare you know and I want to preserve it. I want to use it for like at least another, like one more time. So I want to like clean it up and move it out and put out another carpet. But I just don't know which one to put out there. But I would love to just find a new one. <gasps> Wait a minute. This is like from Restoration Hardware or something, I think. Yep. How cool. Okay, so this is a Restoration Hardware. Uh, I don't know if it's sterling silver, but it's definitely stainless steel or something and a penguin shaker. And it's only $6.99, we're gonna get this. This guy's expensive. How cool. Okay, I'm excited for the finds already. This is starting off to be a fun time at the thrift. And it's a Sunday too. I feel like Sundays, everything's not really like really picked over, but I mean like this guy was in the wrong section so somebody was probably holding onto it and just dropped it off. So you always gotta look everywhere. Even if it's not in the section that you think, you might still find something there, you know? It's happened to me a lot of times, and I know it'll happen a bunch more. And it can happen for you guys. Let's see what's over here. Little cherubs, carolers, gingerbread people. This thing, looks like ruins, the Coliseum, something. Okay, we are in the plate section. I am, I don't know, I've been really wanting to find some cool plates recently, so maybe we'll find some today. I feel like I haven't bought a plate in a second and it's making me kinda, I don't know, I'm missing buying some plates. <laughs> am I going crazy? These are kinda cute, but they're, uh, these are melamine. They also have these little melamine seahorse plates. These are from Target. And, I'm just looking for like an anthropology plate or something. 
That's a nice color. <gasps> Could this be an anthropology plate or is it a Target plate? I'm gonna have to look under that sticker, but this is cute. But there's only one, this is the melamine plate. I looked underneath, it's an opal house plate. A lot of times opal house plates look very similar to anthropology ones, even when it's the melamines. Melamine. I do want some more melamine plates though. I'm trying to make a like get a collection of them for the outside so that like when the boys are outside eating or whatever, like by the pool, um, if they fall, they're not gonna like shatter into a gazillion pieces or anything, so it's like more safe. And like paper plates or anything like that, they just like they're just too light and it's really windy back there. Probably even the melamine plates are probably gonna be too light when it gets really, really windy. But it's better than anything else. And these are all gorgeous. Do you see all these? Oh my gosh, why do I want all of them? This is so pretty. Okay, this didn't have a make on it and it has a like a chip on the bottom. This one's seven, this one's pretty. I like that it's skinny up top. Oh, there's also a chip on it. Okay, I'm not even gonna look to see where that's from. This one is also Gorge. This one's the Mikasa, $12.99. This one has potential. I think I, okay, I think I might get that one, but I'm just gonna start, oh. Actually, I'm gonna look at it really quick and see if there's any cracks. I don't think there are, so. I'm just gonna set that there while we look at the rest of them. But that one's really pretty. Normally, Mikasa doesn't, or, like the older pieces don't have anything on the bottom of it to let you know that it's Mikasa, but that one was etched. To give my arm a break, these got really heavy, but look at this one. <gasps> Gorgeous. This looks something similar to like um, Tiffany's, but I don't know if this, I don't think this is, is it? Let me look really closely. Okay, unfortunately, this one didn't say anything on it, and neither did this one. But I still kind of, kind of want it. I think I'm, I'm thinking about it. I might get it. Oh, these little decanters are always fun too. Does it say anything on it? I don't think so. I love that they have these Voss bottles here. <laughs> it's funny. Ooh, light crystal. Oh, look at this vase. This is fun. Oh, this is only $2.99. Is it broken anywhere? Oh, it is on that one side. It, it looks very Jonathan Adler-esque. Look at that one, $7.99. I'm thinking about like propagating my Monsteras again. So one of these might be pretty good for it, but I do have a bunch of vases still at home. Ooh, the mugs! Okay, this is another thing I haven't bought. Oh, Taurus. Taurus, Taurus. Reminds me. <laughs> Bring it on. Oh, no, it's not Taurus. It's Tauros. Just kidding. Tauros, Tauros. The mighty, mighty Tauros. Oh, Anthropology. Letter S. $2.99. And, yeah. Hmm. Don't need any more of those letter S's though at the moment. I know I have a few. But are there any other cool mugs hiding uh, in here? Always gotta look all the way in the bottom because sometimes they're hiding down here. This little set is so cute. How fun is that with the little fishies? Uh, trying to see if there are any cool like bakeware, cookware things over here. Interesting. Literal sand is in there. Some plates. Cake stand. Oh, how fun. Wait a minute. Look at these, a little fish. Oh, these are from Target. These are cute. They like look vintage, but those are new. Um, what is this? Donut. Is this just a ceramic donut? Nice. A paperweight. Interesting. Okay, let's continue. Singapore. 
room. That's another one of those plates from the other side. Okay, but we gotta bring this plate over back to where the other ones were. Oh, but hold on, what are these? I have Pottery Barn plates that look similar to this. Oh, these are from Target. All right, let's bring this guy back over. So if anyone wants to buy the set, they can find all of them. Right, you guys, we just got to Costa Mesa. We're gonna go to Crossroads. I actually also went to the Irvine one, but I didn't film in there. I don't know, I always feel really awkward filming in there, so I didn't. But we're at the Costa Mesa one. Let's see if we can find anything cool. But I'll show you guys what I got over there in Irvine, because I got some really good stuff. Okay, is there anything new in here that I absolutely obsessed with? Okay, nothing really in here. I think I've seen all these things before. Last time I was here. Look at that coach bag, it's 120. Look at the Balenciaga shoes. Right there. Shivon shoes. Got that Saint Laurent. Chanel. Dior, Gucci. They got it all in a row of St. Laurent up here. This really cute Doc Martens bag, you guys, but it's kind of expensive. It's like $42.50, but it's adorable. I'm trying to see what other goodies are in here, but I don't think I see anything too, uh, new. That is really jumping out at me. I feel like the look of this. It looks like the Loewe Flamenco, but it's a street level brand bag. There's a fossil. What is this furry bag? I think it's is it leather? No. Or is it from Zara? Got this black tote. A nice simple black tote, which this guy loves another. Hmm. It's cute. I like this chevron kind of like design on the bottom. We got this hand bag right there. Another one. Is this leather? Looks like a Bottega, but I'm sure it's not. Yeah, it doesn't have a brand. Is it leather? No, I think it's a pleather. Oh, this Michael Kors is super cute. <gasps> oh, I like the design on this guy. How much are you, Michael Kors? No price? We're gonna have to ask. Oh! Got a jumper. What else do we have over here? What's this leopard bag? This one's a made well. Oh, that's kind of cute. Do we like that? Well, the fur is intact. Maybe. This little Michael Kors necklace. Oh, no, it's a bandol bandolier. Half off. Nice. Look at that, you guys. I just found this long chomp. So excited. Also, there's this cute Bakke clutch. It's gonna be 12 bucks. Maybe, yeah, this is nice. Okay, there's this rag and bone fabric tote. It's half off, it's $11. I also found this brown Madewell pouch wallet. It's super cute, it's uh, 15 though, but it's nice. I have the larger version of this tote in orange, and I'm obsessed, this is the Madewell. And it looks like corduroy, but this is leather. Hmm. Hey guys, okay, so we are at the house again. It's the next day and I'm super excited to share with you guys what we ended up getting from Goodwill. Then we also did go to Crossroads as well. So let's, um, let's start. All right, first things first. I got this really cool, this is a penguin uh, drink shaker thing. It's from Restoration Hardware. And these guys are so expensive, like normally, like retail. And this was only seven bucks, so I picked them up. Um, I had him before like a year or two ago and then I sold him and I don't know if I'm gonna put this guy up for sale as well or just keep him uh, for the holidays but we'll see we don't drink at all this would just be purely decorative but he's super cute and for seven bucks I was like even if it's just for decoration totally totally cute and so worth it then I also picked up I, I love the arc um, whitening like teeth whitening products 
I've um, run out of this and it's perfect. So now I have a new one that I can use. This is the After Brushing Whitening Booster. So I like that. So I'm like scared to show my teeth because they're not as white. So can't wait to use that. Then at the Goodwill, I also picked up this Cole Haan little crossbody bag. This is a little blue crossbody bag. And this guy is in great shape. He was only $12.99. Super clean. And the leather is so soft. Cole Haan bags, I feel like, are underrated because they are really, really nice. And they use really great quality leather. So that's always fantastic. And then I think everything else I got from Crossroads. So let me... Oh, <laughs> let me show you guys what I got. Um, first things first, I got this uh, pair of gaff shorts. They're just like orange. I, don't, I like the color and I like the length, so I picked them up. Um, these are also half off, so they were $18.50, so I got them for like $9.25. So, picked up these guys. And then, I have been wanting to like increase my like Lululemon. Oh, I also did get that Lululemon hat, but it's currently in the laundry, so. Um, I did get that, but yeah, not here with me at the moment. Then I got these Lululemon, um, like, they're kind of like joggers, and I've been looking for something like this, and $32.50, not too bad. These are normally pretty expensive, and I hope they fit me, because I got the extra large, but I think, like, their sizes run a little bit smaller, but it also does have, like, the waistband thing, so I can always just um, tighten it up more. So I think that's totally cool, and I hope these fit me. <laughs> I got um, another pair of like the extra large shorts, like from another trip previously, which you guys probably have already seen. They're like those yellow ones, and they were like pretty loose, and I had to like really tighten them up um, with a drawstring. But I still like them, so I'm still keeping them. But yeah, so I, I don't know, it'll be fine. If they don't fail, I'll just return these. So got that. Though I also did get this Kate Spade, or no, Coach, little Coach satchel. It's super cute. This guy was $12.99. Like, it kind of reminds me of the Givenchy Antigone, Antigona bag, and I love a good brown colored bag. It's one of my favorite colors for handbags. I already have, I have like a ton of them. If you guys already know, if you watch the channel, I always, like I have so many golden brown leather bags. It's ridiculous, but it's my favorite color. I feel like it's so complimentary to almost anything else. And it's just easy to throw on. Then, uh, okay, so this is what I ended up picking up at Crossroads. All right, let me start off with this. This is just a fabric tote bag. Look a nice, easy to carry one with a fun geometric pink print. This one is Rag and Bone. Yeah, it's Rag and Bone. It was $22.50, but it was half off. So this was like $11.25. So I got this guy. This is a great little tote bag. I actually threw most of the bags in here when I left the store. And it's just a nice everyday bag. You can roll it up or like fold it up and then keep it inside your purse or whatever you have. And then if you like run to the grocery or whatever and you need a bag, Bam, you have one, and it's super easy and lightweight, and this holds a lot. So I got that, and then I also picked up, I love Madewell stuff, and I really like this print. This is just a little Madewell wallet pouch. It was $15. It has these gold palm trees on it, and the inside has built-in card slots, and that's like a little change pocket, and it's super clean, and yeah, it's beautiful. I love the leather on this, too. It's like this beautiful leather like look at the grain on the back too i think it's really cool like that's not from like where like these um vertical lines that's actually just how the wall or the leather is and 20 or no 15 dollars for this guy really nice i like it i do love a good pouch though you can use it for so many things and then since we're on pouches i also did pick up this one as well and this is a I don't know how I didn't notice that there was like a ribbon or something stuck to the zipper. But let me see if I can... No wonder this was half off. Can't open and close it. Okay, we're gonna figure it out somehow. But if we can't, I can definitely return it still. But this is a bot key bracelet and it's a gray color. Um, 24, half off, $12. And that, the leather on this is really nice too. I like all the zipper details as well. And... Look at the way that it's stuck in there. That's like really in there. This little ribbon is 
causing a disturbance. Anyway, we'll figure this out later. <laughs> okay, so I got that guy. Then I also picked up this really fun Madewell bag. I actually have the larger version of this in orange, and it looks like a like corduroy, but this is actually leather, which is really cool. And I love the size of this one. And the I, this golden like mustard color is everything. Look, look how cute that is, right? So fun. I feel like it goes good with my colors today too. So I am really excited about this guy. I don't know if I'm gonna keep him. I might even keep him because I'm right now like I I have the orange one like. It, I've been like I use it sometimes when I go grocery or whatever and it's just like a great little bag But this one's the smaller size and I really like this size too. It's cute. It does have a little bit of like Wear right there, but I think if I just get my eraser on it, this is like in a suede or nubuck So I should be able to fix that up pretty easily. I think it's just a little dirty uh, Then I have another Madewell piece. This one was 1850 and this is a uh calf hair leopard print bag I don't know I do love a leopard print the inside um, looks like this it just has one little pocket right there and for this also came with it it was just like inside it's just like a little wallet I don't know where it's from is it Madewell also I have no clue it doesn't say Madewell inside of it I don't think it's leather I think it's just like a little wallet Maybe I'll do this as a giveaway or something. Then, up next, I have this really fun Michael Kors. And I really love the star print on the Michael Kors monogram coated canvas. I think it's just really fun. This guy was $32.50. I also do like that the Michael Kors is incorporated into the zipper pull. That's like a nice little touch. And you know, the golden brown leather, obsessed. And, oh, I didn't notice that it has some lipstick stains inside. I hope I can get it out. There are some lipstick stains in there. Do you see that in the red? But it does have six built-in card slots and then it has another open pocket right here with the Michael Kors care booklet. Oh, we'll see if I can get that out. I'll see, like you, I'll try like some makeup wipes or something, but $32.50. Oh, the rag and bone thing also came with this little rag and bone thing. Hmm, cool, okay. Then, oh, this one is so cute. Okay, do you see this? This is a little Kate Spade crossbody bag, and this is like in a fur, like a faux fur, and it has these beautiful flower details, and they're like gold with pearls and then crystals. Look how gorgeous. It's so, so cute. This little top handle, the crossbody strap is adjustable and removable as well, and you pop this open. The interior just has three built-in card slots, and it's so cute the cutest little bag it's so fun ah i'm obsessed this one is 55 bucks i love that one then up next i i'm so happy to find another one of these guys for you this is a long champ and le pliage and also in the leather and this is the grained leather so nice just a little shoulder bag it's a good size too which is nice i believe this is like the medium i wish it was the one that has a crossbody bag or a crossbody strap but um this one is still fantastic these bags are so great i feel like everyone needs at least one in their collection they're just a really nice easy bag you don't have to worry about them they're easy to pack away when you're traveling or just like to store inside your home and they are a great size and they hold a ton the, even though this is the smaller size i don't think it's small i think it might be like the medium it's fantastic and the straps so nice on your shoulder and the interior of this guy there's a zipper pocket and then two open pockets as well as a key fob you can see it swinging inside of there and it's nice and clean but yeah fantastic the exterior does need a little bit of cleaning you can see that there's um some color loss in the corners from rubbing but that is so easy you just need to condition that really quickly and then just run some uh black leather dye over it and then it's good to go so that'll literally take a minute so i'm very happy about that guy okay so then these next two pieces are i'm really really excited about let's start off with this guy okay the color on this is fantastic and this is a Valentino um, Garibaldi rock stud um, like tote bag 
and it's in this beautiful like lime green color it's so pretty gold hardware really really nice I'm obsessed it does have like some stains there's a stain there um, there's a pen mark right there and then there are these marks on the back also. I'm pretty sure I can clean off most of the marks. The only thing is that pen mark has me a little worried. But um, even with the pen mark, I feel like it's still such a beautiful bag. And hopefully I'll be able to clean it off or at least lighten it. And then um, I might even try to color match this green. It's so stunning. It's like this neon green that just pops. The inside is in pretty great shape nice and clean there's a zipper pocket there and then two open pockets and then we do have a crossbody strap on this guy which is really nice i do love a crossbody strap and this is such a good size too kind of reminds me of like the louis vuitton mm but i think it actually might be a little bit bigger than the mm plus we do love the studs studs are always fun um there is like some tarnishing on it but i think i can polish them i'm not like 100 percent certain if you can polish this hardware i think you can though but yeah you can't even really tell with the hardware you gotta you gotta kind of look really closely but i think i can polish it okay so i got that and then this one is i think this one's my favorite piece which i'm for sure going to be keeping in my collection because my ipad fits in here beautifully and it is oh and i got that one for four like i think it was 400 or 425 something like that it was on consignment and then this is the next piece, this beautiful Chanel clutch bag. Isn't this gorgeous? It's in this metallic gold lambskin. It is so nice. It's in pretty good shape too. There's just a little bit of um, color loss right there on the corner. I don't know why it's on that corner. And then a little bit right here as well. But otherwise, I feel like it's in really, really good shape. I think I can actually color match it and it'll be okay. Um, but it's so pretty. I probably wouldn't even um, really try to color match it at all. But isn't that gorgeous? It's so soft. I might even like put a pillow in here and like use it decoratively <laughs> on my sofa if anything as well. Like that's kind of cool. Um, the interior is quilted, nice and clean. It comes with the original card right there. There's a Chanel made in Italy. And then the serial number sticker is all the way, do you see that? Um, little leather tab right here it actually flips up and it's actually like upside down because it protects the i don't know if you can see it but you can actually do you see that moving it's underneath um there so that way like when you put something inside it doesn't rub against it so that's actually really nice because normally that stuff can get like rubbed and then it like ruins the sticker but that's nice and protected but the pouch is beautiful i'm obsessed with it it's in pretty good shape I love the gold and yeah, Chanel, Valentino, Longchamp, Kate Spade, all great stuff today. So I'm really, really excited. Hope you guys had fun checking out the store with me, uh, stores with me and seeing what I found. Um, give the video a thumbs up. Come on, like these were such awesome finds. I'm so excited about them. And if you want to check out one of the live sales where I'll probably be showing most of these items, maybe with the exception of the Chanel pouch, because I think I'm probably definitely going to keep that. Um, tune in every Thursday at 7 and then Friday and Saturday at 10 p.m. Pacific time. Hope to see you guys there. I do a giveaway each night as well. It's free to join, free to enter we always have a blast and i always enjoy chatting with you guys so so much and i'm trying to incorporate a daytime uh sale as well and those have been on tuesdays at 11 so those have been going pretty well but i think i'm going to revamp the schedule and kind of change things around because i want to think i want to change it up to three two or three days a week and it's either going to be tuesday thursday saturday or just um thursdays and saturdays but then i will do the thursday sale in the morning and the saturday sale will always be at 10 p.m pacific time and that is it for today i hope you guys had fun don't forget to tune in to tomorrow's new video as well i do post videos every single day 